Hey, you run this lane. You run the right lane. He rebounded it. He was ahead on this side. He ran that lane. If we were in our quick two action, same thing. These guys have lanes to run. The open lane, the one that's ahead of them. So come on, set this ball screen again. We're in quick two now. What do you want to attack first? What do you want to attack first? What does he want to attack first? The elbow. We're trying to, come, we're trying to make a play. First seven seconds. Hey, come back. Come back, five man. Well, I can't have you, can't have you be in the sky, right? Because you don't want to make a play. You want to dribble the ball to the sideline, you can't have it. All right, so you got it. You got the rebound. You work for it. Come here. Come on in here. Come on in here. Attack. You're going to be a playmaker. Seven seconds is yours. Seven seconds is yours. You're trying to make a play. You're trying to get in here and put pressure on the defense in transition. All right? But once we get to here is where we're now running a secondary action. This isn't our primary break anymore. Your, ch your chance in the first seven seconds is to get in here and be a creator. If we're in quick two, you get to this elbow, and now you're going to run a DHO with your wing on your side. Right here. And now from here, you just cover right at this angle, and your dribble handoff is going to be at his defender. So you're going to be inside, and as he comes off with tempo and speed, you're going to flip that ball in the air. And you're going to the corner. Oh. By that time, you've gotten down here to set this same drag ball screen. You guys are high and wide, a little higher. Good. Down and ready. All right. So you're trying to get yourself in position. Now, as he gets the hand off, you get your feet set and pop it. And this is all happening at the same time. Now the defender's here at the screen. Nope, oh, don't open it up. Don't open up. Inside shoulder to the rim. Good. What are you doing? Lifting out of the corner. You're making a read. Okay. Go ahead, about 50%. Good. Good, good. So obviously you got the same personnel, guys in different spaces. You could also kind of, in some ways, dictate who you want in these ball screen actions, depending on who's on the court. If he gets a rebound, you're allowing him to be the point guard, but he's not coming off this ball screen if he's not good in ball screens. That makes sense? So now you got the same guys being able to make those decisions, and he feels good because he gets to push it, but maybe you know once he sees this hedge, he's going to fumble it or turn his back and turn it over. So, hey, we're in quick two, quick two now. Maybe with your point guard, you stay with quick one, or you can run your side empty, clear-out ball screens a little bit more often. Okay? 